Hello everyone, I'm back in the kitchen lab, this time to develop some color film. So I have a couple rolls of Pro 400H, one in 120, one in 35 millimeter, and I have a tank big enough to accommodate them both so I can develop them both at the same time. I'm gonna be using the Cinestill C41 developing kit. Um, it mixes a quart, which is exactly what I need. So if you've seen my uh, black and white developing video, a lot of the steps are the same um, with a few key differences. So one difference is that the developing time is the same for any film stock. So even if these were different brands, different ISOs, I would still be able to develop them together. That's one benefit of developing color. The other difference is that just like I mentioned, this developing kit is uh, just enough chemistry for a quart. Um, the chemistry is pre-mixed, so there's no measuring out chemicals every single time. Once it's mixed, you've got the right amount. All we have to measure is water. The third key difference is the temperature of the water we're going to be using. So color develops in hot water. Um, what, for black and white, we can develop that in uh, its 20 degree water, which is basically just a touch cooler than what comes out of the tap. Sometimes it's exactly what comes out of the tap. Whereas for color, we need the temperature to be above 100 degrees. So I actually have the electric kettle going now, boiling some water so that I have some hot water to use to get the, the water up to the right temperature. We have to account for the room temperature chemistry we'll be adding to the water so that the total temperature is exactly where we need it to be. Um, so that's the only tricky part about developing color. Uh, otherwise the steps are very similar. So we're gonna have water, I've got measuring cups, um, a timer, and just like developing black and white, the first step is to go into my dark bag and get these into the tank. All right, so I've loaded my film into my tank and I filled it with water just to soak them. That's an optional step that if you saw my black and white developing, you know that I do like to pre-soak the film. So I'm ready to mix the chemicals over here, but this part right here is the developer. It comes in three parts, and according to the instructions, we're going to mix this uh, with, looks like 20 ounces of hot water. Now, because the chemistry is at room temperature, we need the final developing to be at 102 degrees, uh, the final developing mix. It's asked us to add water that's 120 degrees. Let's see where we are. We want to be at 102 Fahrenheit or 39 Celsius. We're just a hair above 40 Celsius, but I'm going to start now. And the reason for that is I know that as, as the uh, film develops and as we agitate, it's going to lose a little bit of heat anyway. So it helps for it to start off a couple degrees um, warmer than it needs to be. I'm going to start my timer. So you get handy instructions in the box and our developing time is three and a half minutes and very similar to the black and white uh, we agitate for the first like 10 seconds or so and then every 30 seconds after. So I'm agitating for the last time. We're in the last 30 seconds of this. I'm going to pour it back in here because this is all of these parts can actually be reused for a few more rolls. So I'm going to be putting it in here and storing it away. Again, you want to make sure that your bottles are labeled um, so that you never contaminate your chemistry with what was in there before. So I'm bringing my water here up to about 125 degrees so that when we mix these parts here, 
uh, the temperature should drop to about 105 degrees, which is the range where we want um, this next chemistry. All right, so this is the bleach fixer, which we need an eight minute timer for. And now my working solution is just about 105 degrees, it's perfect. Um, this one actually has a range from 75 to 105 degrees uh, so it can afford to lose a little bit of heat in the process. So in goes the bleach fix mixture, which they call sometimes Blix. And just like the developer, we agitate for the first maybe 10 seconds and then every 30 seconds we give it a quick swish around. All right, we're nearing the last 30 seconds of the bleach fixer mix called Blix. And the next step is going to be to wash the film. So I've moved the camera over so you can see the hose I've attached um, to the kitchen faucet that will make that process a little bit easier and with black and white it wants you to um, wash the film for about 10 minutes with uh, with this combination it's asking for a three minute wash so that'll go a little faster So I'll start the washing process here. The hose goes straight in so that the water is circulating through. And I'm going to store the Blix for the next time we use it. Now the next part is the final rinse, the stabilizer. And that one just needs room temperature water so we can actually mix this while we wash the film. So this calls for 30 ounces of water. Now one thing I forgot to mention is it does want the wash to be in the same temperature as the Blix that we just took out, which is 75 to 100 degrees. That's about as warm as, as you know, a, warm shower. Um, so just having a little bit of hot and cold water going is enough for that. Now our film should now be um, visible in the light. And maybe you can see some frame lines there. So this is a one minute agitating just for 15 seconds. Oops. So I need a one minute timer. All right, we're done with the stabilizer now. We can reuse this, so I'm going to pour it pour it into a labeled bottle here so we can save it. We dumped out the stabilizer. It's back in here. These are all ready to get stored away. And we're going to take a look at these negatives. And 
just like the black and white, pull it off of here. And just use a Kim wipe to get the excess uh, moisture off. And there we go. We've got our color film. So I'm going to hang both of these rolls up to dry and uh, come back and scan them maybe tomorrow. Thanks for watching another Kitchen Lab.